JT Masit with Cara Remix Concrete Association or CRMCA. I'm here to talk about the procedures involved in the Concrete Field Testing Technician Grade 1 certification for ACI. ASTM C231 is the procedure to determine air content of freshly mixed concrete by the pressure method. Be sure you have the measure and cover assembly, a 5 8 inch rod, mallet, and a scoop. If you want to skip straight to the air by pressure procedures and not go over the filling the pot portion, please do click the link above. Dampen at least the inside and rim of the measure, what we call a pot. As always, let me remind you that as I lead through ACI certifications in Colorado, I get asked the question about what videos or trainings to go through and understand that these don't replace your training at your company. They are useful tools, but understand they should be up to date. So within the last couple years, this one should be too. Place the pot on a flat level firm surface and fill in three equal volumes. Fill the first lift about one third of the volume distributing the concrete. Rod 25 times through the lift, uniformly across the surface section, best to start from the outside, spiraling in towards the center. Take care to rod fully without striking the bottom of the pot forcefully. Tap the sides smartly 10 to 15 times with a mallet to release the air pockets and close the tamping rod voids. The second lift gets filled to 2 thirds of the volume, Rod again 25 times across the surface cross-section, penetrating into the first layer about one inch without stirring. Then tap all the sides of the pot a total of 10 to 15 times smartly. Fill the third and final layer the last one-third of the volume while avoiding overfilling. Rod the lift 25 times again across the surface area and penetrate the lower layer one inch. Do not add additional concrete during rotting if the layer drops below the top of the pot. Finish consolidation by tapping all the sides of the pot 10 to 15 times smartly, again to close voids. After rotting and tapping the top lift, an optimal amount of concrete of about 1 8 inch is expected. A representative amount of material can be added or removed at this time to reach the optimal level. A strike-off plate must be used if unit weight is performed prior to air by pressure. If only air by pressure is being used, a strike-off bar can be used. Just use it in a sawing motion as you're doing the strike-off. Using the strike-off plate, the top surface should be finished smoothly. Press the plate flat onto the pot to cover two-thirds of the top surface. In a zigzag pattern, pull the plate towards you until the entire plate is off the pot keeping pressure down and the plate flat the entire time. Place the plate to the original spot covering two thirds of the top surface. Then again in a zigzag pattern, push the plate away from you until the entire plate crosses the surface, again keeping it pressured down and flat. Then incline the plate about 45 degrees and strike off the surface from one end to another several times. A good reference is going north, south, east, and west. Clean off at least the rim and flange of the pot, as well as dampen and clean the cover assembly. Clamp the cover assembly to the pot, making sure to get a tight seal. Take time to adjust clamps if necessary. An angle of 45 degrees on the clamp handles is ideal for a tight seal. Avoid rotating the cover on the rim of the pot, as this can pull aggregate under the rubber gasket, causing damage or a pressure leak. Make sure the main air valve is closed. In this case, it is a push-pull lever. The petcock should be open, then inject water into one of the petcocks, slightly jarring or tipping the pot towards the injection side while filling. This will force the air bubbles out the opposite petcock. Do not inject water into one petcock, then inject into the other. Stay on one petcock, otherwise you will continue introducing air and chasing it out. Check to make sure the bleeder valve is closed, then begin pumping air into the upper chamber until the gauge is at the correct initial pressure. The petcocks need to stay open as air will exit from them while pumping if there is leak at the cover assembly closing pin. 
Once near the initial pressure, tap the back of the gauge a few times while letting the compressed air to cool and equalize. Adjust and stabilize the gauge hand at the initial pressure by slightly bleeding or pumping while tapping on the gauge. Then close the petcocks. Open the main air valve, the top lever, then immediately tap the sides of the pot smartly. While still holding the main air valve down, lightly tap the back of the gauge to stabilize the needle and then read the air pressure on the dial to the nearest tenth of a percent. Release the main air valve and release the pressure by opening the petcocks. Make sure you cup your hands over those petcocks when you're releasing the pressure. If not, that water will spray out onto you or someone else, which is not always fun. Remove the cover, then release the pressure in the upper chamber using the main release valve or bleeder valve. Determine the reported air content by subtracting the air content by the aggregate correction factor. In Colorado, this aggregate correction value is near zero and not regularly performed or reported. Report the final air content to the nearest tenth of a percent. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at aci at coloradocaa.org and we'll do our damnedest to answer your questions and help you out as best we can.